All right, up next is a Sony PS FL72. Uh, this is a turntable, linear tracking. Uh, let's see, let's see if it opens. It opens. I did a record, or I put a record on it. So it opens up and closes. Uh, light seems to work on the inside. Here's what it's not doing. And I, I'm doing the shaky cam because I want to show you, see if you can see. Oh, you probably won't be able to. Yeah, it's all right. So it will start. The record is spinning. The arm will not move in position though. If I press the buttons to move the arm, the arm will not go back and forth or up or down. So, let me open this up and grab this record. So the arm transport mechanism is, is not working. So what I'm gonna have to do with this is move the camera up top, see if I can take the cover off of this. Hopefully it's, a, it's an issue of some gunked up some dried grease or stuck grease or maybe a belt. I know some of these have belts that they use. So, um, And then I don't know the status of the cartridge. Let's check out the cartridge. And it's all bent. Yeah, it's bent pretty bad. So and I think I have I think I have a replacement uh, cartridge. If not, I can I can get one reasonably inexpensively. So anyway, let me move the camera up top and see if I can get the cover off and see what's going on with this. Remove four screws on the side, sides, and that came off. It's still attached to the power button here. So I'm gonna just lay that to the side because I want to be able to operate this and see with the top off what it's doing. So open. So, oh yeah, that's like, that's frozen. Not sure how that's supposed to work. Let's see. Huh. Okay, so let me close it and see what happens. What I'm looking for is I want to see what happens with this, this mechanism. See if anything's trying to spin when I hit start. Oh, okay. So let's do, oh, this uses sensors, okay. So since I don't have a record on it, oh, it's starting to move. Look at that. You see that? I bet it's grease. So let's throw a record on it. Let's kind of move it through its paces. And yeah, I don't know if you can see it. There's, yeah, you can't because of that bar right here. There's a, there's a gear with a bunch of dried grease on it. I can move the camera, but I think you kind of get the picture. Oh, no, the grease is soft. There's the grease right there. So. That's. All right, ready? Let's go. Start. Give it a little bit of help. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Keep going. Oh. Playing the record. Let's lift the arm. Come on, keep going. Yeah, I bet it's dried grease. What I don't know is, and that's, there's no dried grease there. 
and just exercise it a little bit. Now it stops there for some reason. That could be an adjustment. There we go. All right, so let me, let me drop this. So it's at the end of the record. Okay, so there it goes back. Alright, so let's see what it does now. Sweet. And this lift, move. Oh, it's just not wanting to go on its own. Gotta give it a little nudge. I know this is kind of boring, but... Trying to get it to, oh, there it goes. So it automatically is returning. Cool. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove this, this grease here. I'm gonna clean that off. It does look like there might be some, let's see. Yeah. I don't think the grease up here is the problem. I think it's probably grease underneath. So I'm gonna see, what, I'm gonna clean what I can up top and then I'm gonna flip this over, see if I can access some of the mechanicals on the bottom and uh, see if I can clean whatever grease. And I'm just gonna apply some white lithium grease to it. Clean it off with some rubbing alcohol first. All right, lots of uh, cotton swabs. And uh, see what happens. I'll come back after I'm done uh, giving this a good clean. Alright, so I guess I was recording the whole time. <laughs> so you kind of saw what I did. I cleaned off the guide rod, cleaned off the little shelf that this, uh, the tone arm assembly slides back and forth on. This covers plastic. It's kind of surprising. I thought it would be metal. It looks like a <laughs> candle or something. There's a big burn mark on top. Alright, so what I want to do is put this back together and flip it over and see what I can get to on the bottom. Um, I, think I might have to wrestle with this a little bit so I'm going to pause it and flip this over and see if I can... Oh there it goes. All right. So let's see what we got on the bottom. Hopefully I can get to that other assembly and clean up some grease and get this thing working. I gotta make sure I got a cartridge for it. So anyway, let me pause this, figure out how to take this apart, and see what we got going on underneath. So I was able to pull the bottom off. A couple of things to show you here. So this grease is, is not hardened, So, but I'll probably clean this anyway. Clean that grease off. I'm not sure what's going on here, and I don't know what that does. Um, but this this moves the tone arm assembly back and forth and it's sticking right about here I can't really run this upside down so I I may have to reposition the camera and see what's going on from the underside but this belt is really loose see that and I can pull it right off so I think this belt is suspect that probably has something to do with it so I'm going to grab uh, a belt out of my bag of belts, see if I can get one that will fit it. Uh, and isn't quite so, yeah, there's like no, it's not elastic at all. So hopefully that's the issue, but I will clean this up a little bit. I mean, it's not horrible though, but I will apply some lithium grease, clean that up. So 
Anyway, I'm going to pause uh, recording, grab that belt, come back, and uh, oh, what the heck, I'll just film, film myself cleaning that up. Alright, put a new belt on. I had one that actually fitted perfectly. That's the last one in that size. I have to get some more. So you can kind of see it's no, it's not as loose as it was. Now as far as cleaning this goes, what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to go crazy with trying to get all of the grease off there because again, oops, that's a dirty one. A couple of dirty ones. The grease uh, is, isn't hard, it's soft, nice soft grease. So, um, kind of clean it up here and reapply some lithium. And the way this worm gear meshes with this this other gear, it's going to be kind of hard to clean that without somehow disassembling it, at least in my opinion. I mean, I could probably just pop that gear off, but then I'd have to restring it, and I am not going to mess with, with restringing this thing. Not at all what I want to get into today. Don't want to increase on the string. I really, this grease isn't bad. I'm sure, I really don't even need to do this, but. What the heck? I'm in here. All right, so let's get some lithium. Again, there's old grease there. I'm not gonna be able to remove it all. there put the bottom back on and see what happens can't really test it upside down like this I I tried but it doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do I did notice there's also this I'm not sure what this does but it's all greased Oh, this is, oh, that's that, that goes there. That's kind of odd that it would, so this kind of sits here. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's gonna be fun trying to figure out what the hell that thing does. Man, if it's not one thing, it's another. Oh no, this is for the, that opens, that's what that does. Oh, I see. That is for the door. That's what pushes the door open and closed. So, why was it like that? Oh, I see. Maybe. Alright, I need to figure out what that thing does. So, there's evidence of grease down here. through the and it was just sitting there slotted underneath that thing and you can see where it looks like it sat there for a long time oh okay I got it now so this goes like so and then it rests right there in that little slot oh oh okay 
sorry, I was I had a screw that I removed and I'm like, what is that screw doing? Now I know what that screw is doing. So I had a screw right here that holds this in position. There we go. That makes much more sense now. And that will freely kind of go right and left. Okay. And I believe this should be all the way back like so. And this, this was missing a few screws. It was missing two screws. You can't really see my fingers, but two screws up here. So, although when I look at those holes, it doesn't appear as though there were screws in there. So, what I'm going to do is just put a couple of these in and uh, flip it over and give it a test run. And there should be one in the middle up here. Gosh, these screws are tiny, but they like forever to screw it in. Let's use my head here. All right, there we go. All right, so with any luck, I'm gonna have to do some reassembly here. into position, drops the needle, goes up. Now this was stopping about two-thirds of the way across the record. Let's see if it... No, looks good. So I think it was probably a combination of... Now it should pop up, go back. Yeah, it was probably a combination of the belt and then the grease. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. All right I'm going to leave this cover off and I'm going to open the door. I'll see if I can keep everything in frame. And I'm going to replace this head shell. This cartridge, I should say. So there's the screw. This is a Sony VL45G. And you can see, see how that needle's bent? I could, nah, I'm not gonna mess with it. I always keep about five, I don't know, five or 10 cartridges on hand. I've got an Audio Technica 81 CP, not super high end, but this will work. So, pop this in here. Put in the screw on the side. I'm gonna remove the cover. And what I want to do now is do a sound check. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pause it right here, get this attached to the stereo, and we're going to give it a listen and see how it sounds. All right. Let's uh, try this out. I'm going to leave the top off so you can kind of see it do its thing. Got this on phono. I think I got this all connected right. Oh, yeah.
I want to drop it in that spot. All right, sorry, I had to answer a question real quick. Now it's going back. All right, I'm going to call this one good. Take this record off. Got to do a little bit of cleanup on it. And I think we're done. All right, so yeah, so all that was wrong is just some hardened grease and a bad belt and bad stylus. Have to see how much one of these costs. Maybe I'll uh, pull this one back off later on if I can get one of these cheap enough and replace that. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna finish cleaning this up. It's it's not gonna get all that clean because plastic cover and I mean it is what it is. But uh, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.